Hey guys, you are watching Droid Crunch. I am Lokesh Kapoor, and in this video, we are going to talk about how we can use live results feature in Elementor search widget. It is a pretty new feature introduced by the Elementor, and it is very useful and exciting at the same time. Using it is very straightforward, and you can replicate this on your website very easily. So we will get in and see how you can use it and see all the options that are available to you how you can customize them based on your branding and guidelines overall and this can give your website a new and modern look as well for the e-commerce website it is like a boon as it can enhance its functionality and give your users an experience that they deserve and that they need uh, to find the products on your website so let's get in pretty quick and see how we can enable and use it first of all i will go to the dashboard and here i will find settings in my elementor widget go to this elementor click on settings now go to features and here find search over here on a drop down select active and save the changes now the search results feature is enabled and loop feature has also to be enabled for this to work perfectly now i will go to the templates over here i will add a new template a new loop item template choose post as source type and i will name it uh, search loop item okay i will remember it now a template has been created and i will also create a page to you know show this template or show uh, a widget search widget where this template will be enabled in search uh, live search feature so i will create all pages add a new page i may call it live search feature okay publish it and click on edit with elementor now here i will search for the search widget and drag and drop it over here and now you can see this uh, widget over here i will style a little bit uh, the interface the background and all this stuff i will go to classic and choose an image maybe i can choose this image looks good but this image is in high quality so i would prefer to go with that image instead and it is not uh, you know good looking so i will make its height a bit more maybe i would go with 700 pixels for the height now i'll go to width and decrease it a little bit maybe i will prefer to go with 500 and there i don't see it a bit interesting so i make it on the start in advanced i will give it a little bit of top padding probably 200 or maybe i can settle it with 100 pixels now looks good okay uh it's all up to you whether you want a you know uh, rounded shapes or you are okay with the rectangles kind of interface like the box ones because over here you can see all this is rounded even the results are rounded so it's all up to you how you want it so the rounded one looks pretty good so i would prefer to you know show how you can make everything uh, in round designs so let's start first of all this is our search field i will make it uh, maybe about 28 okay i can also go with a uh, less rounded shape by settling it with 12 or 8 pixels okay this also looks good so we have already this round so let's use only 8 pixels or less border radius for this one now as the search field roundness is given now let's come to the submit button and here you have this radius over here just type in 8 and I would choose uh, the background color and make it 
something that can be visible pretty much or i can choose maybe green one like this okay looks quite authentic isn't it now over here you can see the results just enable this live results feature and you can choose the template we have created search loop template so search for it uh, we have the search uh, loop item but we haven't published it yet so that's why it's not showing in the drop down so let us uh, add something over here okay for example add a flex box and we can you know add post title and an image a featured image okay and an icon that you can see over here an icon post title and over here is a featured image so let's quickly add these widgets over here first of all the icon widget then we have title page title and this is the post title and we have this featured image okay three of these now we can set them in a horizontal container or maybe the direction would be row and let's reduce a little bit the sizing for all of these things search for a search icon over here insert it reduce its size from here the post title decrease its sizing as well and change its color a little bit as well and here on the featured image uh, everything looks good maybe i guess make it full okay and yeah it does look good for the width you can set it maybe 10 or 12 or 15 depending up depending on the width of this widget on this page so we can customize it later on and see how, what what width looks good okay so for now let's go with 15 make sure that everything is you know aligned pretty well okay in the center it is let's reduce a bit more this icon size looks good um, we can give it a bit of padding for tops so it is centered aligned or it looks more centered like this isn't it now we are showing uh, over here uh, a white color when it is hovered okay so what we will do just click on the style button go to background and click on hover and choose a color white and here choose the color white but at the same time give it this kind of a uh, opacity okay this is alpha channel alpha uh, slider so just drag it a little bit down and you will get a transparent look but not fully transparent for the fully transparent you can keep it to this level okay but for now let's uh, give it this thing and publish it from here now come back and continue search and now you can see that we have search loop template over here search loop item template click on it and minimum search characters that you want for the search to begin and the columns to be shown i would prefer one column as we have over here only one column and the items and equal height nothing found feature equal height for all the items and when there are no results what would be shown you can choose over here and select its uh, tag as well you can query the results as well that would be shown uh, whether you want to include a term date so everything is customizable right away for now let's publish it and see how far we are and how this 
widget looks so it's looking something like this as of now okay so uh, the post where the image is set is shown like this but for the post where the image is like not set is like this so to fix this we'll come over our loop template and uh, what we can do is like set its width a uh, bit more you know static so we can create two containers inside it like this and add one more container and uh, for the first container we can keep our icon post title and the second container we can put our featured image like this okay looks good and here we can do something like this and make it like this and now we can keep its width default because we have set our width over from here now looks good to me for now yeah so now publish it so once updated let's reload this page and search a keyword and now it looks like this now it's up to you how you know uh, you can customize it so let me just die quickly go to my this template and click on style and here on the results i would make it uh, bit rounded like seven or eight pixels and i need less gap between the rows make it five or six maybe and its background should be opaque no transparent bit so go with white and this okay let's publish it and see how it is looking at the moment and for this loop item we can also go to a styling and here we can go with probably the fully transparent background by default and long let's search stay and now it looks like this isn't it exciting so we are very near to a design right now let us uh, go to our this template and good something like this it's not updated i guess results default okay so now it looks like this uh, we can reduce uh, column paddings and all to get what we need like this and we can define our width from here okay or oh, we already have some gaps as well so we can publish it now and reload this page and now you can see it is looking you know much better i guess but we don't have proper alignment over here so for that to fix we just need to go to a container and align items to center now publish it and reload the page okay now the items have been aligned perfectly now on the hover we can see that we don't have this uh, rounded corners so in the loop item what we can do we can just go to our 
container set it style go to border and give it uh, 8 pixels and now it should be fixed pretty much I guess we also set a bit of transition as well or we can uh, you know keep transition to 0 or default so now you can see it works perfectly isn't it you can select its uh, link as well make it uh, clickable and everything should be working fine so this is how you can create this kind of a you know interface this kind of a live results form live results page and this can also be used in your element elementor single product layouts or for your e-commerce websites or for your uh, maybe search results grids or search and filter pages and whatever you may you know deem fit so this is all for this video i hope you enjoyed it and got to know how you can fully utilize this functionality in your websites and if you learn something new please consider a subscribe and uh, yeah i make videos pretty often about elementor and wordpress and also sas tools so you will definitely love watching the upcoming videos and yeah see you in the next one thank you for watching have a wonderful day